I worked the meatball beat in Little Italy, and even I'm shocked at the cold blood that oozes out of these artistic types. This broad cold pepper and that fruit job, Cohen, are in some kind of feud. And Cohen's looking for my security detail to pick sides. The next thing I know, I'm called into Ryan's office to talk about the whole mess. Goddamn nut job artists. Some hired Betty tried to sell me on those fancy Oxford Club ciggies. Mm, no thanks. I told her I'm a nickel tie man. Always will be. Why? Well, they smoke good and don't cost half a damn. Who cares if the things are made out of seashells and fish eggs? to see us government-type shutting down shops, killing their owners, even with a ponds like Fontaine. But he brung it upon himself. Instead of copping it on the chin, bugger gets it into his head that he's gonna go down guns blazing. Who does he think he is, John Bloody Wayne? We can get on top of this. We can. Here's what we do. We find Fontaine's will and make what was his go to where it was intended, and not into the pockets of us that put him into the ground. Not a decision. 
He's Ryan's stable boy. Ryan's corrupt policies crab all over the place, and Cohen flutters around, clearing it up. But instead of using a shovel, like you would with a proper mule, Cohen tidies with a catchy melody and a clever tone of phrase. But no matter how nicely it sounds, he can't really do anything about the smell. I just got the word to put the bump on Anna Culpepper. This isn't some gangster or hard-nosed political operative. We're talking about a dizzy twist what wrote a song or two that got under Ryan's wig.